Ken, your uh, business is celebrating uh, 70 years in Morpeth. Can you tell us a little bit about um, how it started? Well, it started in uh, 1953 with my dad, who um, basically worked for Turner's. And um, he'd been uh, very ill with TB and he'd uh, been recuperating in Morpeth. And he, I think, decided about the future and what he wanted to do. And I think he thought that setting up his own photographic business would be a really good move. And did, he have, did he have much competition at the time? Because uh, I, I believe there was another well-known photographer. In yes, Mr. Mr. Primrose was the was the, the main photographer of the town and um, my dad being a young whippersnapper decided to, to set up just up the street from Mr Primrose and so I don't know how it went down but um, no my dad had a, 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 a reasonably good following quite early on because again he was um, he was a Morpeth, uh, Morpeth Gadgie so I think uh, a lot of people sort of um, gravitated towards dad because of, uh, because of the the guy that he was and his character. So uh, what was it that uh, started him in photography? What had, uh, what had got him into the business in the first place? I think he, he, he started developing photographs in, his, in the little shed at the bottom of the garden. He used to live up on Newgate Street and he used to um, practice with uh, old pinhole cameras and uh, developing your own photographs and just basically start off at, uh, at the very entry level and then I think he, he joined the um, the YMCA camera club when the, the YMCA was uh, situated uh, where the Mansell restaurant is and my dad tells tales of him having to go and stop fire in the in the meeting room for the camera club and um, again lots of uh, old characters in the camera club who obviously um, engendered a lot of enthusiasm and, uh, and, and set him on his journey. So uh, when he started, uh, was that at the, the shop further up Newgate Street? So it was it was in a very, very small shop opposite um, where we were on Newgate Street. So uh, next to the entrance to St James's uh, Churchyard and it was a tiny little shop and uh, that, was his, uh, that was his first shop. And was the business very much a one-man band or did your mum have a hand in it as well? My mum actually was supporting the business for the first few years because uh, she worked on the buses to give them a, an income because you can imagine when you're starting off a business it's, uh, it takes time to get to a, a point where it's able to stand on its own feet. So uh, mum was involved in the business helping out with the darkroom work but she had a main, a main uh, income working on the buses so uh, helping out my dad as well. And when he, I think most people will remember him as uh, as a wedding photographer. Was that was that how he really started, or did he start doing other work? Um, yeah, wedding and portrait photography, and uh, also um, also selling cameras. Um, it was a it was a real mixed mixed business, and it had to be that because um, you know, as you mentioned before, uh, Terry, that the, the, there was a competition with. Um, Mr. Primrose, so you couldn't really just rely on wedding and portrait photography. You had to have a little bit of everything, and so he had, um, you know, cameras and projectors and all sorts of different bits of photographic equipment. And um, again, the the business grew very, very rapidly. Now, uh, when he started, I think uh, photography was very much a sort of black magic to a lot of people. Uh, disappearing into the dark room and uh, working all sorts of uh, 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 wonders uh, and it's changed a lot over the years. Um, how did your, your father adapt to, uh, to changes? He, I, I think he would be absolutely blown away with, um, with what we do now, you know, with um, we're getting photographs sent from uh, by customers from Australia and they're ordering them on our website and people are coming into the grandmas and granddads are coming to, into the shop to pick up the photographs and when dad started it was very much you know he had a, a big old tin bucket to develop the films in and uh, and when I started we we spent time together in the dark room on a Monday um, developing photographs for the Morpeth Herald in the old style with um, enlargers and and safe lights and and black and white chemicals and it was um, very as you say steam driven 
and it's really been in the last um, 25 to 30 years that the, the photography industry has been absolutely turned on its head with the advent of uh, smartphones and the fantastic cameras that everybody is carrying around in their pocket. Uh, has that made things a bit more uh, difficult for businesses like yours and the fact that uh, everybody now regards themselves as uh, 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 David Bailey or, or whoever the model <laughs> equivalent of David Bailey is. Well, the, ca the, the phones that you, you've got now have got amazing sensors and the people, are, people are able to photograph in all sorts of lights and creating some really incredible photographs and um, it's democratised photography so people are taking billions and billions of photographs uh, so many more than they were taken in the, in the heyday of film and um, we've had to adapt and change to that you know and I think that there's still a lot of uh, love for a, a, a proper physical print something that people can put on the walls and be proud of people that people can show friends and family um, and again now with people having thousands of photographs stored on their on their smartphones it's sometimes quite tricky to find that special one of your granddaughter whereas um, people come in get them printed out and it's um, it's there in front of you, something tangible. So it still it still holds true that it's good to have a, some physical prints because uh, when things go wrong, you can lose a lot of photographs with your phone. Yeah, now uh, you, you've actually developed the business a great deal since uh, since your father's uh, uh, day. Uh, tell us a little bit uh, about that. How you've expanded? Well, yeah, we've um, we've we've had to to offer many many more services and many many more um, you know different uh, areas of the business and also um, we just spotted an opportunity to uh, to open up in Hexham um, about uh, nine years ago and um, again I'm a great believer in the, the strength of our market towns and we've got a really excellent following in Hexham and then uh, more recently we opened in Annick so we've now got um, three members of the photographic family, three branches and um, again all of the, our customer base have been fantastic over the years. We've got, we've got customers that still come into our Morpeth store that uh, started off coming in 60 years ago and they're still really enjoying the photographic uh, journey and the, you know we've, I can't overstate the, the fantastic customers and again our fantastic staff who are always ready to help people and assist and give them uh, advice and help them get those photographs off their smartphones and get them onto something that they can enjoy. And what about uh, the future for the business? Where do, where do you see that going? Oh, good grief. Um, well, basically, just uh, just keep on, keep on going. Um, you know, keep on uh, providing a service and as long as people are um, still happy to come in and, um, and, and support us, then we'll be here to, to provide the service.